Welcome to Cooperstown. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications for the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. We're here in the famous plaque gallery with Tim Wiles, our Director of Research, and we're going behind the plaques today. 295 bronze plaques on these oak walls. Behind every single one of them is a story. Now, some of those stories are really well known, like Babe Ruth or Henry Aaron. Others, maybe not as much, but all of the Hall of Famers here are here because of the work they did and the character with which they did it. Now today we're going to talk about a Hall of Famer named Johnny Evers, or is it Evers? Tim, which one is it? Well, you know, Craig, there's a file of clippings on every player that ever played Major League Baseball in the Hall of Fame's library, and one of my favorite clippings in the Johnny Evers file is called How Name is Pronounced. And they went and they talked to Johnny, and he said, you know, the correct way is Evers, but everyone around Troy, New York, where I came from, calls me Evers, so really, either one is okay. Going back to Evers then, because we'll follow what Johnny said. Well, hey, this was a guy who was a tremendous second baseman in the dead ball era from right at the road in Troy, New York. Absolutely. He starts with the Troy Trojans in 1902, and that same season, he goes up to the big leagues and plays for the Chicago Cubs. He'll be there until 1913, and he's really the heart and soul of one of the greatest baseball dynasties of all time. Between 1906 and 1910, they won four pennants and two World Series, and Evers was right there. He was a team leader. He was in the middle of everything. He was part of the spirit of that club. But there are a lot of great players on that club, of course, to win that many games. And he was so good, they wrote a poem about him, Tinkers to Evers the Chance, Baseball Sad Lexicon. Absolutely, by F.P. Adams. Here's how it goes. These are the saddest of possible words, Tinker to Evers to Chance. Trio of bear cubs and fleeter than birds, Tinker and Evers and Chance. Thoughtlessly pricking our gonfalon bubble, turning a giant hit into a double, words that are heavy with nothing but trouble, tinker to Evers to chance. Gonfalon, another word for pennant. All that history right here in Cooperstown, New York. Come visit us at the museum or check us out online, baseballhall.org. <laughs>